Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the 9th episode of the series and we have Vidyarth here with us today who has been recently placed at Intuit as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us and before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students of BTech, uh, CSE and socket branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in 10th, 12th and a CGP of 9 or 90% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go and talk to Vidyarth. Congratulations and welcome to my channel. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Hey Jishnu, thank you for having me. So I am Vidyarth, uh, I come from Kanyakumari, a place in Tamil Nadu. I am currently doing my fourth year of undergraduate program from BIT Vellur, majoring in computer science and engineering. So recently I got an offer from Intuit for a six months internship plus full time. And previously I have done internships from Morgan Stanley and Samsung. Uh, additionally, I have also got internship offers from Adobe and Arsatium. And for the full time, I also got a PPO from Morgan Stanley and uh, full time from Intuit and I'm choosing Intuit. Okay. So. Academically, I've also you know, been a part of a lot of extracurricular activities, like I was the technical head of one of my chapters in VIT. So uh, I was technical head of IST VIT. Then I also secured an All India Rank 5, of, uh, 5 for the Amazon's ML Challenge. And I've also been a part of Amazon's ML Summer School. Okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, thank you for that. You cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what happened? So basically for Intuit, uh, there were around four rounds for me, one online round and three interviews. Okay. So for the in, uh, online round, the shortlist was pretty, you know, uh, pretty tight. So people who are above nine CG were only allowed to apply for this company. Hmm. And the online round was pretty much focused on hard DP questions. I mean, hard DSA questions, which were like uh, focused on DP and other concepts. And uh, around seven people were uh, selected for the next round of interviews and uh, the interviews were uh, pretty standard so there were some dsa questions high level system design questions and uh, fundamental cs questions including dbms and uh, os and other concepts and the interview went from uh, it also focuses focused on my previous internship experiences so some one good thing about uh, the interviews that i felt different from other com uh, com uh, other companies were you know, there were two, three interviewers interviewing you at the same time so that, uh, you know, like, uh, even if you are uh, struggling with one particular concept, there will be other interviewers who will be getting, uh, asking questions about some other topics which are stronger. So that is some advantage that I felt even though like little bit concept if you're not able to answer some other interviewer which, uh, who knows, um, you know, uh, other things about my profile, he asked questions about that too. So that's something which was different from other interviews that I uh, faced before. Mm -hmm. Then the final interview was again a DSA, a DSA round. So I was asked two DSA questions and some riddles. So that's the whole interview procedure. And finally, around two people was shortlisted, uh, selected for this uh, full-time role. Okay. Okay. So first you had the online round, right? That had how many yeah. questions? How many? So it has, it had four questions. Uh, one question was easy and it was on a uh, greedy topic. The other question was uh, a binary search question, which was also pretty easy. The other two were DP questions, which were which were uh, le uh, lead code hard type questions. Okay. And people who solved the three and above questions were shortlisted. Okay. So there were only coding questions in that round, right? There were not. Yeah, only, only coding questions. Okay. Okay. And then you had three interviews after that. So all three yeah. were technical, or uh, was there an HR round? The final round was uh, HR plus technical, but it was majorly on technical side. Only. Okay, okay. And uh, all three rounds were coding uh, or did you have something else? Yeah, the first round and third round were majorly focused on coding for me. Okay. And the second round was uh, you know, uh, my CS fundamentals, uh, high level design and previous internship experience. So that was the interview I'm talking about where there were two, three interviews. At the same okay, time. okay. So in the first and third round, they asked you to code or write the code for some programs or some questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they asked me to walk through the code I am writing and they also had some test cases to test on. Okay, so that was like how many questions would you say were there? So each round had around two to three questions depending upon how fast or slow you answer. So okay. people had different varieties of questions. Okay, 
and uh, it was for how long each interview round was half for how long each interview was around for 1 to 1 and a half hours 1 to 1 and a half hour okay okay so first you had like full two full coding interview rounds and one was like more into computer science fundamentals and all yeah. okay okay that's really great um thank you for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into super dream or anything that you learned from your experience yeah so i would suggest my juniors to focus on you know both the computer science fundamentals and also what they do for development also because many people feel that you know your cgpa doesn't matter your mm. uh, computer science fundamental skills doesn't matter that much when you enter into a job but i feel that throughout my experience and since what my uh, internship experiences in various firms i felt like the core concept that i learned was revolving around my work uh, in one way or the other so mm. i'll uh, say that because in morgan stanley i was working in the network automation team so the computer network fundamentals really helped me to finish the job very fast you know kind of optimize what i'm doing mm. uh, to some extent so i would say that uh, you should prepare for uh, cs fundamentals even though you have done subjects in your first semester second semester keep in touch with them mm. maybe what i to keep in touch with them was i prepared for gate so that i will be in touch with all the uh cs fundamentals and mm. i also secured a ar 1500 in my okay. third year mm. okay mm. so that that's something that you can do uh, for two things one it will uh, uh, always help you in your resume and secondly you can also be in touch with your cs fundamental skills and uh, something that i will also say is be uh, you know fluent in dsa from uh, as early as possible because people tend to you know uh, go for development skills and most people tend to you know get attracted by uh the internship that people get in first year second year uh, with the development skills and focus mainly on that and that is also very important for uh, you know developing your in, uh, skills in development when you do internship it's very much helpful but when it comes to you know placements in big companies so even though they have development as their uh, judging criteria it is primarily focused on dsa so we should be clear on what uh the mm. fundamentals of dsa and also system design to some extent because that's what we are going to do in the company so system design that's something that uh, you know many people uh, will skip around for uh, these uh, placements mm. and stuff but i would say that that is as important as your uh, dsa and cs fundamentals was also helpful for me okay okay that's really great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions and congratulations once again thank you just for having thank you so much guys for watching please do stay tuned a lot of interview experience videos coming uh, your way in the next few days so do uh, subscribe and stay tuned thank you for watching